Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come out here and talk about this really disturbing story. And once again, it's coming from our four favorite state, ghetto ass Georgia. So what's going on now, ghetto Georgia, you ask? What's going on is that we have a lottery winner. He's 20 years old and his name was Gregory Birch. And basically he had won over $400,000 back in December. This was announced all over the news. Everybody knew that he was a winner. Since then he was getting hit up. Folks were calling him and everything else. And just recently, just a few days ago, this man was murdered for his lottery winnings. This entire situation is so disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. He got a three week old baby that was just born and now the baby's not gonna be able to not going to be able to know his daddy. An emotional plea tonight from the mother of a man gunned down in his home overnight in Fitzgerald. The victim, 20 year old Gregory Birch Jr. recently won a nearly half million dollar lottery prize. His family believes the home invaders were after that money. WAOB News 10's Wright Gasway is live at the scene. Right, you had an emotional conversation with Birch's mother and girlfriend. Ben, I did. I actually spoke with the sheriff about 30 minutes ago. He tells me there are persons of interest, but there's nothing for them to release at this time uh, right now. His girlfriend, though, who was home at the time of that home invasion, shares some frightening details. GBI agents processed this murder scene in Ben Hill County. Just hours earlier, Jasmine Hendricks says a shotgun blew open the door and three masked armed men ran in. When they, when they came in, he said, don't do it, bro. Don't do it in front of my kids. He said, please don't do it in front of my kids and my old lady. Please don't do that, bro. Please don't. He said, I'll give you my bank card. Hendricks says Birch threw his pants to the Roberts. She's sure they were after some of the $400,000 he had won. Ever since he hit the lottery, we kept getting calls, text messages, all that saying, be careful because people are out for him to rob him. Hendricks says the men shot Birch shortly after realizing his wallet wasn't in those pants, killing him instantly. They took my man from me. They took my son and daddy from him. Both of my sons. I couldn't live with myself if I don't know what happened to my child. Tonight, Hendricks and Birch's mother begging for justice. That's all I'm, I ain't worried about nothing about the house, no nothing. I'm one, I want to know who killed him. That's what I'm worried about. And I love CJ. I just want somebody to know. Whoever have any information, please. Please contact the police department. I just beg you, please. He didn't deserve to be gunned down like this in his own home. Both the victim's mother and girlfriend tell me he was a good guy. In fact, he had just spent about $4,000 on uh, Christmas gifts for kids in the community here. GBI agents are still on scene processing this house as they try to piece together this investigation. For now, though, reporting live in Ben Hill County, Wright Gasaway, WAOB News 10. This session, Georgia lawmakers are considering a bill to allow lottery winners to remain anonymous, but at a cost. And that state Senate bill would let winners keep their names private if they give 25% of the winnings to the Lottery for Education account or another tax-exempt organization. That bill was introduced as the Powerball jackpot reached around $1.5 billion. All right, so you guys just watched the news clip, and a lot of things bother me with this story. One, it's sad that lottery winners are being told that the only way that they can remain anonymous is if they give 25% of their earnings to the state. To me, that makes no sense. If you won that money fair and square and the government is already going to take about half of your winnings anyway, why should you be forced to give another 25% to remain anonymous? I believe that lottery winners should be allowed to remain anonymous regardless of the situation. You know, over the years, we've seen a lot of people win the lottery. A lot of tragic things have befallen lottery winners. You know, finding out how fake people are, lottery winners being attacked, being killed, some committing suicide after realizing that their money didn't bring them any happiness. One thing I would say is when you come up on that type of money, you had to get up out your situation. You had to get up out the hood. You can't still be living in the hood and thinking these fools won't come out and rob you. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you just can't even trust people nowadays. You have so many trifling people out here who don't want to work for nothing. They rather rob people. They rather kill people for what they have as opposed to trying to get it themselves the right way. You know, it's really, really sad that 
this young man lost his life, I think all lottery winners should be legally allowed to remain anonymous. It's nobody's business who wins the lottery. You know what I'm saying? If I was to win the lottery today, y'all would never know it. I'll be right back on camera the next day like, hey, y'all, it's your girl T. Even though I'm sitting on 500000 y'all wouldn't know shit. Wouldn't nothing change about me. I'ma still be the same old person making videos and still hustling and still trying to grind. You know what I'm saying? What you make is nobody else's business. And I just think it's really sad this man lost his life. From everything that I've read, they're saying that he was giving a lot of money out to people, trying to help folks out with their bills around Christmas. He spent a lot of money getting people Christmas gifts and everything else. Now, I'm not saying that this woman is involved, but there's a lot of chatter online where a lot of people are giving her the side eye. A lot of people are saying that she's way too calm in her, you know, in her uh, interview. Other people are saying, how is it that she's able to memorize everything that went on, yet and still she doesn't know who did it. Um, she ran outside, but she didn't get any license plate numbers. Um, how is it that she was able to get out the house and leave her children there, boyfriend there, and he was eventually murdered, but she didn't think to try and grab the children and run out the house. So a lot of folks online are giving her the side eye and saying that, you know, you never know, she may possibly have been involved, you know, because at the end of the day, these guys went there and they ended up not getting a damn thing from this robbery and it may be a situation where they end up splitting the money down the line. So I definitely think that, you know, the police should investigate everyone in this story, not just the girlfriend, but even the mother. You know what I'm saying? Like Biggie said, now I'm wearing a Biggie shirt. Number three, never trust nobody. Your moms will set that ass up properly gassed up. Your moms will set that ass up properly gassed up. So you really can't trust nobody when it comes to money. And it's ironic that I'm wearing this shirt, baby, baby. You know what I'm saying? But that's real talk. You know what I mean? What Biggie said was the truth. Once you come into money, you never know. Folks will set you up. Folks will start giving you the side eye. Folks will start feeling some type of way. That's why you got to keep your circle small. You know what I'm saying? And not fool with everybody, point blank. So I think he made the mistake by not getting up out the hood and by not vetting the people around him. You know, rest in peace to this young man. It's really sad that, you know, some that bought him so much happiness, you know, to go from a forklift operator to winning, you know, half a million dollars, ended up bringing him and his family so much tragedy in the end. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. How do you feel about this situation? Do you feel like the girlfriend or another family member may have been possibly involved in setting this young man up? And then do you agree that lottery winners should be allowed to remain anonymous and they shouldn't have to give 25% of their earnings to anyone? They should be allowed to collect their money anonymously and not have the whole world know their business. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this disturbing story that's once again coming from our fourth favorite state, ghetto ass Georgia. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.